As we visited the Temple Mount area, we recognized that King David, the author of many of the biblical Psalms and one of Israel's greatest kings, had planned the very site where we stood. David's plans for the temple were implemented by his son Solomon. And according to scripture, this very location holds great significance in the end times. Walking along the top of the Temple Mount area, we talked about past events that have led to our present moment. John, this is the Temple Mount area. Now, during the times of King David and King Solomon, this was simply Mount Moriah. And actually, the city of David here was the location, this 10 acres down here below, was the location of where the original city of Jerusalem was, the Jebusite stronghold that King David captured. But he came here then to Mount Moriah. He purchased from Ornan the Jebusite this threshing floor, which would ultimately then end up being the Holy of Holies for the wall that his son Solomon would build. Mm -hmm. And so as we think about the rebuilding of the temple from this particular location, we, we have to go back in history. Mm -hmm. We have to understand the first temple. Solomon built the first temple. 400 years later, Nebuchadnezzar would make his way off the slopes of the Mount of Olives here to the city. They destroyed that first temple, Solomon's temple. 70 years later, Zerubbabel, because of a proclamation by Cyrus, the Medo-Persian king, was allowed to bring about 50,000 Jews back here to this location. It took him about 25 years, a little bit slow. That's when Zechariah and Haggai, the two prophets, were encouraging the Jews, build the temple. Quit building your own homes, build the temple. They built the, they built the temple. It was a, a simple temple, but then along comes Herod, and for about 46 years, he actually refurbished the temple. That's why they refer to it as Herod's temple. Mm -hmm. Herod's temple then would have been behind these walls. This was a retaining wall, the southern retaining wall uh, that Herod would have built. The mm -hmm. western wall that's so famous around the world. Mm -hmm. That was another retaining wall. They have the eastern retaining wall and they even have a, a short portion, a small portion of the northern retaining wall. That temple was, of course, destroyed in, in 70 AD. It's an interesting thought. In 586 BC, on Tish B'Av, the ninth day, ninth day of the Jewish month of Av, the temple was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. In 70 AD, on that same calendar day of the year, Tish B'Av, the ninth day of the Jewish month of Av, the Roman army came off of the Mount of Olives, came across the Kidron Valley, came onto the Temple Mount, they devastated the temple, they destroyed the city of Jerusalem, they dispersed the Jews to the four corners of the earth. 